Well, good morning everybody. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, for those of you who haven't been here before, I'm just going to introduce myself. I'm a landscape photographer based in the West Midlands and I create work purely and simply in rural landscapes near to my home. Um, I'm kind of lucky to be honest because I live right in the centre of Birmingham but I've actually got a lot of woodlands and parklands and places I can go nearby and I've come to one of those today I've come to Sutton Park here in the West Midlands um, it's literally just a short walk from my home so I'm quite happy to come here during lockdown and get my exercise but it's such a massive park and there are so many different places where you can get compositions that you can come here several times a week and never ever take the same shot at all. Um, this morning I've found myself in a woodland just inside the gate. It's a spot where I've walked through a couple of times before but I've never actually filmed here before. Um, and what I've discovered is that there are a couple of compositions that I wanted to capture. Firstly, just behind me, I don't know if you can see that there if I step to one side. There's a little copse of trees just there in the, not the ones in the foreground, just in the background there that I wanted to capture. And I've set my camera up just here. Um, I'm shooting with a 17 to 40 mil lens at 17 mil. And I'm actually focused stacking the images because I want to capture some of the sunlight coming through the trees on the ground there. But I also want to capture a bit of depth in the trees because there are trees in the mid ground and then there are more trees further back in the background but I also think that the ground itself is very interesting not just with the sunlight coming through the trees but also with the leaves and things and the woodland detritus that's lying around I think it makes a really good interesting composition I've already taken that shot and I'm going to move on and look for another woodland now <laughs> So I've just stepped in rabbit shit, wasn't that nice? Uh, just a little bit of background, today's Thursday, last Sunday we had quite a big snowfall, quite a heavy snowfall here in the West Midlands, um, mainly in the morning and it eased off a bit in the afternoon. So in the afternoon I went out and took some more photos of the snowy scenes around by me. I didn't record it but I will show you some of the images later. In the meantime, we've had a little bit of rain as well over the last couple of days, and it's made everywhere a little bit boggy. So just on my walk through the park here, I found this little puddle behind me. Well, quite a large puddle, in fact. And I decided that I liked the reflections of the trees in the water. So I've stopped here to take a photo. <laughs> So I'm going to head off again now and see if I can find some more compositions and some images to shoot. I know that just behind me, in that direction, there's a tree. I don't think it's that one that you can see there, but there is a little tree along the path that I'd quite like to photograph. I've taken photos of it up here before, but I just want to see if there's something different, a slightly different composition that I can capture this time. So, off we go. Okay, so I've come to a completely different area of the park once again and behind me there's a tree which I don't know if you can see which is just lying down just there and it's uh, obviously decayed and rotten and there's all kinds of fungus growing on the side of the tree so I've kind of focused just here on this section here where the intersection is of the tree stump and the branch and I'm focusing on the fungus that's all around that tree and on the tree itself. Um, very small aperture, f5.6, so I'll get a very large depth of field. And then I'm focused in very much on the tree itself, shooting at 300mm and shooting at 180mm as well, so that I can try and get a couple of decent shots of that. I've also taken a portrait and a landscape photo of that because I don't know for sure which of those is going to be the best 
and I'll have a look in post-production to see which I prefer the best. But yep, I'm going to move on and see if I can find another composition now and possibly get that tree I talked about earlier. So here is the tree I was talking about here. This bad boy here behind me. It's not exactly a lone tree, but it's a tree kind of standing in the middle of the path, away from all other trees with quite a bit of gorse and detritus around it. It looks good. I first graphed it before, like I say, um, and I think I'm going to capture another image of this now. Uh, after that, I'll probably head off home, but we'll see. I'm just going to set up now and see what I can do with this. So that's it for today guys, uh, I've had a really good morning, captured some shots that I really wanted to capture and basically just enjoyed myself and got some exercise into the bargain. The main reason why I wanted to make this video today is because I've got a little project that I'd like to share with you. I'm at the stage now where I want to do landscape photography full-time as a profession and so I've decided that I'm going to start offering one-to-one -one landscape photography workshops on location. So if you're local to the West Midlands area and you'd like to get out and take some photos, learn a new skill and make some friends into the bargain then please contact me via Instagram at Andrew Martin Photography. It'd be great to hear from you all. Right now though, I'm heading home so I can have some lunch. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again in a woodland or parkland somewhere in the future. Thanks, bye.